At your age, I was raised by rich and planning to leave my father's house. Look at you. You're so comfortable here. Answering at the way. A boga de weza. Dragon issues with men. Shame. Shame on you. If you're under the illusion that I, Princess Adora, the unshakable one of this kingdom, will leave this palace for your stupid son to mess with my brother, then you need to have your brain examined. Because I am not going anywhere. I am right here with you. I will sit and watch my brother crown the king. Because that is his rightful position, as tradition demands. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, I'm not feeling the rough one. Marco, see and say. <laughs> when fools talk, they speak without direction and common sense. <laughs> Maybe, hmm. just maybe you can go back to your late witch mother's grave and ask her the story behind your brother's birth. It is you oh, who is a oh. witch. It is you. You heard her. You prostitute. You think we don't know you killed our mother? Maybe she doesn't know. Witch. All is not well. The palace is on fire right now. I'm talking to you. The two princes and the princess, they are all fighting and the Lolo. <laughs> These people will finally kill my. What is your problem? The man that is not well. Please, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey! Yeah, this guy, yeah, hey! Leave me! I said, I will kill you! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! What do you want to do? Oh, 
Who? 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 Every now and then, I will be called upon to come and settle your disputes. Your father is critically ill. My brother is dying. And all you could do is to cause tension, cause havoc that will rise his BP. Let me guess. I guess the idea is to kill him before his time, right? What do you intend to gain if that man dies? Are you not ashamed embarrassing yourself before your, your mates and your guards? Look at all of you well dressed, looking like royals. But let me remind all of you that the palace is a place for the royalty, not a wrestling arena. How did you hear? One of your guys came to call me. Thank God, you came when you did. I don't know what would have happened. I'm tired of what is happening in my family. I don't know what to do. Your Majesty cannot give up on them. They are your only family. Since what is bringing all this crisis is a battle for the throne, I think it's about time I should let go of this throne to another family. Yes, so that I should have peace. Your Majesty, we will find a way to crown one of them to return this throne in this family. So, who amongst them? How do you ascertain who the person should be? Is that not the genesis of all this? I'm sick and tired. Nothing is working for me. Everything I touch, Mama fails. Mama, I'm tired. It's okay. What is it? Why are you working yourself up? Mama, I just want to leave this village. I want to leave this village. Nothing is working for me. Mama, can't you see it? Looking at the condition of the king and what is going on in his family, I feel pity so much. Yikes, me too. He doesn't deserve what is really happening to his family right now. Igwe Ikenga. The king is a good man. He treats us like his sons. I wish the God could have mercy and find a permanent solution to these age differences between the princes. I pray so. I pray so. What? What is it? Are you 
somehow related to late Lolo or she was a mother's friend. Well, Lolo Gucci here was a friend to my mother. That was how I got lucky being working here as a guard. I know. That's how you have an, an idea of this age different matters. Mm, well, what my mom told me, King Ikenga got married to little Lolo Guchinye as his first wife. After so many years of marriage, they couldn't have a child. As I was told, that matter really troubled them so much. Wait, you mean late Lolo Ugo Chichinyeri was the mother of Prince Chukudi, Princess Adora, and Princess Joanna? Yes, when it seems like late Lolo Ugo couldn't conceive or be the king a child, the king got married to Lolo. Before my. Ironically, both of them took in the same time and gave birth to their babies the same day. And they are all boys. But even at that, one should have delivered before the other one. As we expected to be so. But we were told Lolo Ifoma came to the hospital first. She came in the morning and was waiting for the appropriate time for the last moment of her delivery sign to go into the labor room. We were told she was there from morning to noon time. That was when Lolo Guchin was brought and was taken straight to the labor room. Immediately too, Lolo Ifama was taken in as well. And they all deliver in same labor room. No, how can they delivered in the same hospital but different labor room? It's really, really unbelievable. But that was how it really happened. Wow. Hmm. Let's keep watching. about you from your mother the other day. Why are you going about embarking on your wild ghost chest? I've told you there is no point. I can't have anything with you. But why? Why? Did you just ask that? But you didn't know why I My princess, please give me audience. I mean... Excuse me. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up on you at all. I can see you're taking some fresh air. Exactly. Um, brother, I want to discuss something with you. What is it? You know Steven, the son of Captain Gogo. Yeah, yeah. That guy won't give me a breathing space. What does he want? A date. He wants to date me. He has been on my case since. 
I mean, I, he's not a bad person. At least I know him. And his late father, Captain Gogo, was a very great man. Everybody loved him. And if his son wants to ditch you, I don't think that's a bad idea. Yeah, I know all of that, but he's dating Joanna. And I'm not even sure if they've broken up. I don't want to get involved in anything concerning Joanna. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold on. Are you rejecting him because of Joanna? Is that it? What nonsense! If he had told you he's broken up with her, you should believe him and accept him. It simply means that he values you over Joanna. What are you talking about? So you suggest I accept him? Exactly! Alright then, I'll be inside. Okay then. Here we go the Ocheze A very moony people back on the running mouth We go to the new camp Before you turn on the wabo Before you have to go Don't you know I want to ask you a question. Mama, am I cost? Sure, one. How can you be cost? Don't say that, Miko. Where is that one coming from? Mama, do you know that it is about 15 years ago now that we started this factory work? I and the Menike. I know that. Mama, apart from the factory work that I have not missed for one day, I still do other things during my free days. I go to farm to work for people. I fetch water for people. But after everything, what do I have to show for it? Nothing! Okay, look at America that I started this work with. America now have three children and a wife. <clears throat> Mama, tell me, what do I have? Nothing! Mama, I am tired. How can I be walking like a lion and be eating like a chicken? She to be me. what is it? Don't compare yourself with people. All eight fingers are not a war. Your own destiny is different from his own. Why are you complaining? You have a bright future. Look at your father there. Look at your father where he is buried. Your father suffered with me. We had nothing. It was even one house we were staying here. By the end of the day, your father was able to build this house. Train you to the level he was able to train you to before he died. And I know wherever he is today, he will be watching over you. Don't trouble yourself. Your own time is coming. You will surely make it. You are not cursed. All people... But Mama have tried. Mama... You have really tried. When is, I know. When is this God's time, Mama? When is this God's time? You have been telling me this. don't spoil my mood. I you have been telling me this enough from when I was ten. Mama, where is this girl's time? Akidi, our doubts are our traitors. There are certain things a man has to win, but because of fear to attempt to it, they lose it. I don't know if you understand what I mean. No matter the quality of your credentials, you require a quality character to build your destiny. Whom you are, is more important than whom you might want to be. You know, there are certain things a man has to do. And I, Prince Chukudi, strongly believe that everything is possible through special arrangements. Doubt is the only thing lacking in a man's life. And when a man is courage enough to pull the garment, of doubt and fear in his life. Everything under the sky is possible. Before opportunity crowns, a man will success. 
you usually tries him through adversity to see what sort of mentor he is made of. Prince Tukodi, what do you seek before the shrine of Okrikirin Joko? Akidi, you already know that I'm the next big team, no doubt. Like I said before, through special arrangements, everything is possible. You and I know that my father is very sick. The king of this land is very sick. And he will die and join his ancestors in no time. Even as you speak, we might not know if he would die today. And if he dies without mentioning any of us as his successor, it will not all go well. Now you know why I'm here. I want to be the next king of this kingdom. Prince Chokode, you already know the let down procedures. That is how it has been even before we were born. No one, no one can change that. Akidi, I know you as a smart man. <laughs> you are the gods. The gods are you. They speak through you. You listen to them. You give us their messages and we listen. We believe. Even if we don't know if it's true or not. Akidi, you can do something about it. You can frame up anything, my friend. You can come to the palace and name me the next king of the kingdom and everybody will believe you because you are kidding and i can't do that just by my words i came with action okay the in this envelope we have 200k cash so all this money will be yours i just want you to do a clean job You have made an abominable move. If truly you are the first son of Igwe Ikenga, why do you try to bribe yourself through? Do not continue in the path which you have chosen to take because no one makes himself king. Only the gods do. Don't try to bribe your way to power because the end is disastrous. Now, go. Go! Go! I'm sure by now Akidi must have accepted the money Chikudu gave him. I told you this is a perfect idea. You see, to every man there's a price tag. Just know what he likes and desires and then offer it to him in quantum too. He won't say no. Mm-hmm. That's right. I don't even know why we didn't come up with this idea since by now Chikudu would have been father's successor. <laughs> All right. Well, not to worry. There's the time. I mean, father is still alive. Yeah, that's true. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for him to give us the good news. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, brother. How did it go? Akedi rejected the offer and asked me to leave that his satanic shrine. Wait, what? You mean you gave Akedi that huge sum of money and he said no? Yes. It's hard to believe. Is he trying to claim an upright being or what? I don't know. You know, I think also the man and his mother has gone there. In fact, I don't think I know because it was crystal clear. Yes, I know that the man and his mother must have gone there to meet him before us. <laughs> because the way Akidi was behaving, I was looking at him, talking to him, and he was behaving funny. The way he was sounding towards me, the way he was even saying and doing his things, it was crystal clear that someone must have brought him over. No wonder he turns down that offer. I mean, no man in his right senses would do that. It's okay. It's fine. I mean, if Uzo Diman's mother has bought Akedi, 
We have to look for another way. There must be another way. Okay? Exactly. There must be another way because I can never allow that fool. I can never allow that half caste to become the next king of this kingdom. It is not possible when I'm alive. Never. never. It would never happen. Never. Not when I'm alive. I mean, if that boy is crowned the king of this kingdom, mother will be ashamed of us in her grave. Exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, she will be ashamed at me in particular because I'm the, f I'm, I'm, I'm the first son. Never. It can never happen. I mean, I am supposed to be king. I am the rightful king of this kingdom. It is my birthright. You all know that, right? It's my birthright. I am the right person that will rule this kingdom and everybody will be happy and peaceful. Because I have the power. I have the blood running in my vein as a king. I'm, I'm, I'm born king. You know why? You know why I'm supposed to be the king of this kingdom? You know why? Because you're the next big thing. <laughs> So he has come to the point where you have gone to buy the chief priest to announce you the crown prince of this kingdom. Surprised? <laughs> Surprised to know how I found out? Is that what you heard? Or is that what the chief priest told you? Well, for your information, noble no one, that is a fat lie. I mean, why? Why do I need anybody's assistance when I can get what I want and everything I want is in my possession? To believe the lie that you were here to run the entire kingdom, it is still not your kingdom. It's obvious, isn't it? It's obvious that you're my little brother. <laughs> and I'm your other brother. And right before your eyes, you will be alive to see me crowned the king of this kingdom. Over my dead body, you can never be crowned the next king of this kingdom. You know why? Because I am the next big thing. <laughs> oh, that is true. Really you be surprised to know I'm the next biggest enemy. Go down and sit in the parlor. Bring out your phone and start doing WhatsApp and Instagram. Baby Prince. <laughs> Upcast. Onyara. I don't want to talk to you. Oh, Baby I am the rightful crown prince, the one to sit on you when the time comes. Please be nice to me. Like Moses in the Bible, you are free to admire the promised land, but you will never have the opportunity to go into it. You see the stream? It's mine, and you will be alive to 
watch me at Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> big liar big liar you're nothing but a moron <laughs> listen you're nothing but a nitwit half cast that is who you are you are nobody I will be the next king of this kingdom. You know why? Because I am the next big thing. So next time you want to address me, you new king, you bow down like the commoners do. You are nothing but a weakling. Now listen, and listen we good. You better stay off my path and stay off this throne because Next time I see you here, you will never like what will happen to you. What will hit you is beyond human explanation. Excuse me. Chukudi, chukudi, chukudi. Oh, child, as you are, will always round. But I, Uzo, will not subject myself to your stupidity of exchange of words. Royalty is in my blood. And I can assure you one thing. You will be alive and watch me ascend this throne. Mother, what is going on? No, if they have resolved to bribery, then we will give them a run for their money. We must not rest on this matter. We mustn't allow them to be ahead of us at any game. That tomb is yours. You must succeed your father. That boy, Chukudi, seems to have something on his sleeves. I have a feeling something is not right. He's up to something. Then we too must top up our game. I have new plans on agenda. You see that room? You. He's a must. <laughs> My son, the new king of his kingdom on the throne. It is a must.
You know, it's always good to see your beautiful face. That's <laughs> Greetings, my princess. something <laughs> um how do I call you sis you won't believe what I just saw what are you aware that Steven is seen with that useless girl Salome which Steven my Steven when? How? Where? So because you had a minor issue with him, he quickly switched to that useless girl. And she cheaply agreed? She accepted, really? That is not possible. Where did you see them? They are together as we speak. Where? Outside the palace. They were here. This is unbelievable. I mean, Stephen cannot stoop so low to go after that unripe dead fruit. So what did you hear? That you've been seen with my little sister. Uh, I never knew I am not at liberty to see anyone of my choice. Come on, Steve. We only had a minor issue. And I was hoping we'll resolve it soon. Even if you want to cheat on me, does it have to be with that toothpick? Princess Joanna, it is high time you understand that I've moved on. I mean, I've been tolerating your nonsense over the years. I can't continue like this, I told you. Stephen, please. please. Stephen, you can't do this to me. Stephen, you know how much I love you. You can do this to me. Please, Stephen, I beg you. My princess, you just have to understand. I can't cope any longer with your excesses. Okay? I can't continue Stephen, like this. Stephen, I'm begging you. Please don't do this to me. I love you, Steve. Please. Please, move on. I've already moved on. I can't move on because I love you, Steve. Please, you can use the door when you're done, okay? Excuse me. Steve. I 
can lose him for one thing. And especially not to that toothpick. Don't beg a man for love. If he said he doesn't want you, so be it. Don't cry. No man is worth your tears. So you expect me to leave Stephen for someone like Salome? Never. If you can't have him, then she too won't have him. Okay? to do is to make sure that you know there's peace in this kingdom. You know, if you if, if you are attentive to what is going on in Bala, there is need for you. Oh no, what is this bastard doing here? You invited him to? Prince Chukwudu, please, please calm down. All I'm doing is for your best interest and for the best of our kingdom. Please. Greetings. I greeted you because I have respect. But why? Why did you invite this fool? Why did you invite this moron to your place and you know I am coming here? Why? Why did you call this Muron here? How dare you talk to your next king in such a disrespectful manner? Show some respect, little boy. In your next life, you think you'll be king? Never. Even in your next life, you look up, up, you can never be the king of this kingdom. Mm. Ask about me. I am the next big thing. Please, next time I'm going with you. Please, 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 please. Oh, calm down, calm down, calm down. It's okay, it's okay. Please take your seat. Take your seat, please. Let's not go into all this tea, all these details. Please, please, my friend, sit down, please. Please, 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 please. Please, please, sit down. Take a seat. Hello, I want to know why I'm invited in this place. Why am I invited? It has become very important that we sit down and reason together. We need to talk this. You see, it is very important that the two of you, the sons of Ibu Ikenga, will begin now to see this issue beyond the way you are looking at it. You should start thinking critically about this issue and stop fighting. Be a reminder, if you continue this way, this particular throne will leave your family and go to another family. And to me, this is a very terrible thing to happen. Very, very terrible. Exactly my point, Onobu. And no one is talking about it. If care is not taken, this throne will be turned over to another family. But that will only happen over my dead body. That is my reason for calling this meeting. So that two of you can bear your differences. So that we can adopt another king to take over the throne today. Oh no, I never knew you were this smart. You're a wise man. In fact, a round of applause for you. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you. Well, I nominate myself to be the next king of this kingdom because everyone in this kingdom knows I'm the next big thing. How dare you nominate yourself to be the next king of this kingdom? Now listen to me. After my father, I am next in line. I am your future king. Do you understand me? I'll never be the king of this <laughs> kingdom. Listen, never be the king of this kingdom. It's not the way of it right now. Listen, we kill you. I'm going to kill you. Just know it. I am the next king. I will kill you. I am the king. 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 
Hey, I had the um, meeting with Ono ended in Ono. Is she okay? What were you expecting? So you don't know that the evil forces controlling those princes is so strong that it can never make them to be reasonable. I'm afraid before the throne crisis is over, let them not kill themselves. Um, Ichim, it's all working towards my good. The throne of this kingdom mm -hmm. is gradually leaving the Ikengas mm -hmm. and coming to Koreas. <laughs> In other words, mm, the office of Ono is gradually coming to me and I can't wait to have it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, eh? Mm. You're my closest ally. And that's why we need to work together mm. to actualize this my dream. Bam. If I become the king, mm. you know you will enjoy with me. So, mm -hmm. That's why we need to keep frustrating them. Bam. 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 We need to add more fuel in their burning fire. Mm -hmm. These people need to be fighting each other and battling with each other. There's no be peace there. Oh, yes, supported. I have another new strategy that I want to apply. Number <laughs> one, Let me hear. I'm with you all the way. <clears throat> Just prepare in a minute. It's so mm -hmm. delicious, okay? Just hold on, I'm going to finish very soon. Mm -hmm. Please tell her. She thinks we are preparing ordinary white rice. Mm -hmm. Please, you girls should just hurry. We want to come and prepare our own meal. Yeah. Serious. Please. Uh -huh. help, help me test it. You like the test. Please, just hurry. It's so special. You test. Excuse me. <laughs> Hey, I did it. I'll put some to for us. What is she? She to be there. You want something to be prepared in your own time. Because then they get like no. Hey, sis. Hey. 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 Sure, I mean, that's not a problem. I'll go to the kitchen, but why are you so hungry though? I'm not eating for like ever. I'm famished. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm coming. Okay, if you get it, if you get it now, you see them laughing and doing nothing. I'm hungry. So I have to report this from baby mama. That's why. So sorry. Oh, okay. My sister is really hungry. Hurry, except to want her to scare me both alive. No, my sister. Chow, chow, hurry up. Okay, we should be ready. Thank you. Oh. 
Exactly. A plate of chicken for Princess Andorra. Yes, my friends. Let me look at it. Mmm. This looks very appetizing. And exactly what I would like to eat. Listen, uh, <clears throat> you can go and tell Prince Adora that the next king has taken this and let her know that I'm very famished. Uh, you can also go ahead and prepare something else for Princess Adora to eat. And you, make sure you get her a glass of juice. What? But what? That's an order. Do you have anything else to say? No, my friend. Good. Who is all this now? This is not good at all. What are you going to tell Princess Adora now? Yes, seriously, Prince Uzoluma is looking for trouble this afternoon. Absolutely. My God. What are you going to do now? Wow. <laughs> what are you guys enjoying? Yeah. Well, I'm taking more. Just test it. Keeping these girls. Ordinary chicken. Look at these girls been praying of the chicken for hours oh, like this. If I meet them there, they will not like me. Have you both suddenly gone deaf and dumb? I said, where is the chicken? I'm sorry, my princess. We had finished preparing it and bringing it to you when Prince Uzadima saw us and collected it from us. We are sorry. We are sorry, princess. We are sorry. Who did what? Did you not tell him who sent you? We did, my princess. We did. But he said that we should tell you that the future king has taken it. What does the impetus? Yes, now. He head to his chamber. What bloody impetus? Oh my god! What is the meaning of this? What do you mean that fight? Is that? Who's they're fighting? Fight, they're fighting. Who's fighting? Everybody.
Oh, Billy, whoa, be careful, let me remind again. Oh, Billy, whoa, oh, 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 be with I know. Oh, Billy, whoa, oh, 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 be with I know. Oh, be with I know. Oh, Billy, whoa, oh, 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 Uzo Dima must pay for this. He and his useless mother must pay for every pain they have put my sister through. I promise him. Ozodim <laughs> man. Imagine a small boy. That's little rat. That's neat wit. Ozodim man doesn't know what is coming his way. He have no idea at all. But you see that boy. I will teach him a lesson he will never in his life forget. I will deal with him mercilessly. You have to deal with him. What? What? It's like you don't know me. You of all people should know that nobody messes with the next big thing and goes scot free. I promise you, I must deal with other the man. Hmm. I've never seen a thing like this before. Eh? Blood against blood. Ha! Huh. All because of a throne. They all forget the fact that if they die in the process of all this, the throne still remain. Mm -hmm. What? What Prince Uzodima did? Was it good? We told him the owner of the food. Yes, he went ahead mm -hmm. and collected the food. Now see the outcome of it. Lord Lohi Farmer is not even making things better. Always supporting his son. I feel so sorry for the king. Yigui Kenga is a very nice man. He doesn't deserve what is happening to his family right now. I have said my own no. I don't want any of us to lose our lives here because of their fight. I don't want to die in this palace. Nobody cares about the king anymore. Not even Lolo. That goes to check upon him. Ah, ah. Ah. What they are all after is battling and fighting, clean themselves against the throne. Ah, ah. Once a happy palace is now a battling ground. <laughs> My princess, please, 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 don't be this here, it's sad, please, please, don't be this here. It's you, Keke. Mm -hmm. Have you tried talking to your nephews at all? I have spoken to them in my capacity as a no and their father's best friend, but all ended up in deadlock. <laughs> Oh no, there is nothing I have not done. I have done everything within my powers to bring peace in my brother's family. But it's not working. I've never seen people in my life that are so desperate to achieve their selfish interests like those, my brother's children. The king has even given up on them. And the way it is going, they might end up losing that throne to Ichiro Kori. <laughs> Honestly. Oh no, oh no, I swear by the gods, if my brother answered the call of his ancestors and did not name a successor, and my family lose that throne to Kore's family, I will teach those children a, a lesson of their life that they will never forget. I will teach them a lesson. 
I heard that they even had a brutal fight and, and got themselves injured. <laughs> eh? You are talking of injury. They were hospitalized. Hey! They were hospitalized. It, they don't, it just happened uh, yesterday that they disturbed them. Eh? Both of them. To that extent? Yes! Hey! Those children. I don't know where, why, why the gods brought oh. those type of children to my brother. Mm. Look at his health. And they don't care about it. Oh. Oh, it's amazing to see you. Yeah, yeah. So tell me, how has it been? Oh so, God. Stephen, you have the oh, guts, this infantry, to come into my father's palace to look for this toothpick. This disgusting Mozambique dog. This unripe dead fruit. How dare you? Who gave you the nerves? Who gave you the impetus? If you know what is good for you right now, leave. I said leave! He goes nowhere. What's the matter with you? Stephen here says he doesn't want you. Can't you get that into your premature brains? Listen, if you don't leave, I will give it to you. What? What? Leave! Stay here! You are very stupid. Please take it easy. Please! Leave me! Come on, my dad! What impetus? What gives her the right to just away? A man that came looking for you. What? Mom, I see Joanna wants a fight. And I, Salome, will give it to her. No one is going to intimidate you as far as this palace is concerned. You go and get your man. He has already told her he's no longer interested. She's trying to get him by force. What nonsense. You know what? Whatever it takes to keep that guy, do it. Hey, listen to me and listen very good. The next time you see me around my man, I'm trying to not say you did today. Believe me, you won't like what will hit you. But you shut your mouth, you don't pick. You see, I don't blame you. But I blame Steven for stooping so low to your disgusting level. See who's talking. He dumped you. Yes, he abandoned you. And followed me. He <laughs> dumped you. He abandoned you. Now let me make this loud and clear to you. You and Steven's relationship will never work. As long as I'm alive. You hear me? Fool. So shall it. You shameless fool. Meet with. You're forcing yourself around the man. My man. How dare you? How dare you? We are next time you won't have the guts to talk to me again. Oh, yes. You will not talk to me again. Oh. You will not talk to me again. Oh. 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 Bro, to be sincere with you, I've never seen anything like this before in my entire life. A royal home? I mean, how can a royal home be that messy? You know, I was told that you were done with Princess Joanna. I wanted to switch to Princess Salome. I warned you. I told you this could bring war. I never saw that coming. Sincerely, I never saw that coming. Like now, I am done. Like done. I don't want anything connecting me to that palace again. I will never ever go back there. I don't want to have anything to do with them. 
I am done. Like, done. Who's up? Father. I haven't spoken to both of you severally. And I have sent people to speak with two people. I thought by now you would have sat down as blood brothers and decide who steps down for the other. I guess we are still where we are. Father, I am your first son. But Troon is my birthday. There's absolutely no way I could relinquish it to anyone else. No, that's not possible. So you're still in that stupid illusion that you're older than me. Huh? Do you want to make me? Huh? You are working. You can never be older than me. I'm your elder brother. Yes. And listen and listen we good. We look Papa. I am the next big thing. Everybody knows that. Even our father knows that. I'm your senior. I am African. I have the same color with my father. But you, an half-caste. You're nothing with the Muruan. So you can never, in this life, and even in my next life, become the king of this kingdom. Shukudi, my little brother. Everybody knows you for one good thing. That is bashing into places that you are not invited or wanted. As you can see, the Ad Gorin king is having an important discussion with his successor. Now we appreciate if you leave this place. And that is to say, bounce. <laughs> Small boy. I like the way you're talking. But for your information, I am the next big team. So if anyone have to leave Chibudi, this place, you will do yourself a favor and bounce. You will leave. I am not going anywhere. And if you come close to me, leave this place now. Father. I said leave this place right now. Leave this place right now. Yeah. No. No. Father. No. No. Father. No. Father. 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 Oh! Father. Hey! You kill him. No, you kill him. You kill him. You kill him. You're a murderer. I knew it. I knew it. Father. You're a murderer. You are 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 Brother! Hey! Look! You have killed him! Tell me! You! So, um, so, and 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 so, That is the sound of Ikoro. Hey! Hello, man. Hmm! You wait in that at all. The great Yuruko has answered the call of his ancestors. You want, ah? Hmm. Odogu! Finally, I am going to be the king of this community. <laughs> hey! My beautiful wife! The future queen of this community! <laughs> Prepare something delicious for me! I am coming to celebrate! <laughs>
the call of his ancestors and pass on to the great beyond. Igwe Ikenga was a great man and a great king. You all must take heart. The gods of our land will grant you all the fortitude to bear this great irreplaceable loss. Now that the king is dead, Ancestors. He died without even announcing any one of us as his successor. What are we going to do? Does that mean we have lost in the kingship race? And does that automatically mean that the throne has been moved to the Okuri's family? Not so fast. You and your rivals still have chance to prove yourselves. It's within this period of window trials that if none of you fails to provide what is required to do that, then the throne will go to the Boris family. So tell me, how are we going to be tested? How is it done? Same question I wanted to ask. The chief priest will be the one to proclaim that when the time comes. But this is the best chance we need to get the throne. We need to be on top of our game now. We need to do something, suggest something. We need to ensure that he gets the throne. Exactly. That is why I have marked a plan. This is our last chance and we cannot afford to play with it. This is it. This is going to be their last chance in taking the throne their father left behind. I am sure they will be planning to ensure they don't fail. <laughs> but they will.
Ouais. 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 This is the fifth day since our great king passed on to the great beyond. I summon this meeting because it is very important that we met the person who went and set the throne of our late Igwe Ikenga as his successor understand what is really at stake. Well said, Olowo. Well said. Uh, if I may ask, who amongst the two sons are we actually having this meeting with? Because both of them are laying claims to the throne. Who? Hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. And you know, we can't have this meeting with both of them. One! Tradition demands. Mm. So, 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 so. In fact, I have never seen where such a meeting is held and the two being present. It's only one. Kahagachori de abo, Brona Nyeze. Elders of Ezotu Kingdom, I greet you all. I overheard your conversation as it matters to your current state of mind. But I'm here to let you know that I and the only person that will walk in my father's footstep. I should be the next king of Ezwudu kingdom. Lie. You're a big liar. Uzo, you're nothing but a small boy. My elders, if you all are doing anything with this nitwit, this shenanigan, this fool here, it is illegal. Elders of Ezudo Kingdom, you all know I represent peace and unity. That means I am legal. To that effect, I am the next king, the next person to succeed my father, my late father, Igwe King the third of this kingdom. Namaka, never. You all know why? Because I'm the next big thing. Yes, it is crystal clear that I am the next big thing. So the throne is mine and not this low life, this weakling. Yeah. Come on, look, brother. <laughs> Show some respect. Some respect for the throne the elders of our land. You can't come here and stand before them to blaspheme. That's not possible. Shut up, you stupid <laughs> mouth. That is not why we're here. Please stop, stop. Don't start this here now. Ah, ah, what is all this? Listen, do not open your mouth when I'm talking. Do not ever in your you miserable could, life You will just today. shut your mouth right now. I Respect am the next the elders, big thing. Okay? It is obvious. I am the next big thing. You are a small boy. Would you just respect the elders? Can you shut up your stinking mouth? Don't make me for the first time. Put your hands down. I you want to do this? Are you not understanding? Are you, are you mad? Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Listen, who the hell are you? I told you. I told you. I will kill you. I will kill you. One day, and I will kill you. Two seconds. Now you're done. 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 I am the king of this land. I am the king of this kingdom. You can never be I am king. The next king of this kingdom. Ask us, you can never be the king. What is wrong with you? You can never be the king. You can never be the king. I will kill you. I am born like you. Just me. I am born like you. You cannot provoke me. I know what I will do. I am born like you. I am born like you. Let me talk to you, listen to me. The big tree is falling and the monkey is laughing. It doesn't know that it's right that it's falling. When our grandfather and our father return, both of you want to throw it away and you think you are showing muscle. Is that a stupid point of view? Uncle, it's the same. Those children have really messed up the royal family. Can you imagine such a show of shame? Eh? 
sincerely speaking, I am so convinced that whatever is wrong in that family right now eh, is not ordinary. Mm. Yes, now, I believe that there is something wrong with all of them. Eh? If not, now you tell me, how can a royal family be so disorganized that they are ready to fight eh, and disgrace themselves at any point in time and at anywhere? Hey, let me tell you, mm. I think the gods are about to favor me. Mm. Yes, because tell me, if they don't fight, mm -hmm. if they don't quarrel, mm. how then will I become the next king? Mm -hmm. Tell me, don't they want to become the next? No. My wife prepared a delicious soup. Oh, 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 Dada, do you know that woman? Yes, her name is Alice. Anything? She looks like our lady base for my wife. I doubt she's the one. Uh, hey, she's the one. So she's in this village. I have looked for her everywhere. She used to be my very good friend. Excuse me, Dada, I'm coming. Right. Let me talk to her. Okay. <laughs> Alice, match. Alice, match. Hey! Alice, it's been a long time. I've looked for you everywhere. Oh, yeah. I don't know. He's fine, my sister. Good to see you again. person. Maybe. Just maybe what happened to their late mother didn't teach them a lesson. I will simply wipe them off the surface of this earth and no one, no one will have the trace of their death. Hmm. If this is the level they've taken it to, then we will do the same. I want to hit Chukudi so hard, but he needed a set. No. No, son. Leave them to me. You see this? I will handle it. They will. See my royal in full glory. I will be there. See, she also. Why, 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 why? She knows so. Just like that. Just like that. 
I'm going to miss you so much. I What's going on? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I do my past has come calling after almost 30 years of living outside Ezudo Kingdom, staying away from their people. Today, I am once again reminded that no matter how much I run away from my past, it will always be there. I thought nothing will take me back to that land again. Or with the death of Iwe Ikenga and all I had that is happening there now. It's about time my son is told the truth of his origin and who his father is. God, how do I handle this? Will children understand this? After all the lies I have made him to believe and live with all this is. Uh, uh, you are visiting to Obazo Kingdom. How did it go? How is your sister and her family? Oh, they are all fine. They sent their regards. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they sent their regards. That's good. That's very good. Nine. Eh? Guess who I saw today at Obazo Market? And, and who could that be? Nine. Guess now. Ah. I can't, you know, I'm getting old, I can't guess. <laughs> Please tell me. Nah, huh? oh, dear. Hey, let's see where Kenga's first wife, the one that he sent away. You don't know it. Hmm. You saw Obidia. Nah, I saw Obidia. Hi, Obidia. It's been ages. It's been a long time. Is it in Obasu Kingdom that she lives now? Yes, nah, yo. She says she stays there with oh. her brother. There is also a trader there. Mm. After the brother died, you know women now, mm. she took over the business and continued the business there. Hi. Obidia. She was a very good woman. A very nice woman. If man. not for my left friend's temperament, that continued to yeah. until that marriage was dissolved. Yeah. I wish she gave him just a son, one son. His son will be older than these two places who are giving us trouble in this kingdom. At least by now, we won't be facing these things we are facing in this kingdom. At least there won't be any age difference again. The battle would have ceased a long time. Hi. I told her about Ibe Ikenga's death and she said she will be there for the burial. Oh, she's coming for the burial? Yes, she said she will be there. I can't wait to see Ibe again. She said she will be there for the burial. Ibe be there. Mama. What is the problem? Since I came back from work, you have been like this. You are not yourself. What is the matter, Mama? Something is bothering you. Mama, tell me. What is it? How didn't My son, there's something I want to tell you. What is it? What is it now? Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I've been lying to you all these years. I've been making you believe something else. What is it, Mama? Continue. You are not from this kingdom. You are from Ezido Kingdom. Mama. Your father is Iwe Ikenga. Late Iwe Ikenga, the third. In Ezido Kingdom. Mama. Are you serious of what you are saying? Yes, I am serious. I've been lying to you all this while. After my separation with your father and the way he treated me, I decided never to have anything to do with him. 
that was why I've been lying to you, just to cover up. Mama, Mama wait. What about the grave where you told me the very papa? That is not your father's grave. That is my late brother's grave, the one I was staying with before he passed on. Your father, Igwe Ikenga, just died and he's not even buried yet. After our separation, I never knew I was pregnant. I was already three months gone before I found out I was pregnant. The truth is that he doesn't know that you exist, not even his kinsmen or anybody. Hey, wait. Hi, Mama. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, please, for me. Mama, there's God, though. The reason for this meeting is to remind this royal family that this is the sixth day since the king died. By our customs and tradition, a dead king is not kept unburied for more than 16 days or it will amount to a taboo. Also, these remaining days are days of grace meant for those who are supposed to take over his throne to do what is needed of them or this throne will shift to another family. We are quite aware of what customs and tradition demands of us. Need I remind you, this throne will not be shifting to any place because my late husband and sons, my son, Uzodima, is going to succeed his father. Lies. Lies from the pit of hell. The only king we have here is my brother, the next big thing. Period. Now, both of you listen to me. I will not allow you to start your show of shame here. We have more pressing matter at hand, which both of you may not be aware. But Akede will brief you people tomorrow. Let me throw a little light on this. By our tradition, if a king dies without announcing his successor, and there's a dispute about who succeeds him in his throne, the contenders are sent to the land of the kings. There they are verified by the gods themselves. The chosen one will return with the offer, which signifies that the gods have chosen him to succeed the dead king and lead his people. Greetings, my elders. My name is Alice, but my husband calls me Obidia. For those of you that don't know me, I am the first and ex-wife of late Iwe Ikenga. And here is to be my son, the late king's son. Husband, the king never told me he had any son anywhere. The elders, please, are you aware of this? Not at all. So, woman, what are you talking about? Yes, I remember you as the our late Igwe's former wife. Uh, but um, this son you claim you have for our late Igwe. What? Uh, hmm? Exactly, something is fishing here. We're not going to accept any son from anywhere. My late father has a son to succeed him. And that is my brother here, Prince Chukudi, the next big thing. So take your son out of this place. Lee. Else. You both will say it. Hot. Hot. Get out. I'm well. There is one way to find out the true paternity of Dubem here. And that will put an end to all these problems. Oh no. What are you doing? Yeah. 
of Ezido Kingdom. He is truly the son of the late Igwe Ikenga. Is that yeah. right? No, 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 it's a lie. It's a lie. May the gods be praised. May the gods be praised. Please, I think there's a message somewhere. Can you please do that thing again? Yes. Are you that the gods? Which gods? Which gods? I'm talking about. How dare you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How long can we thank the girls for bringing this boy to this point in time when he can now end this lingering crisis in this kingdom? Eh? Let us have peace. Hey. Let, us, eh? Let us have peace. In fact, I feel like dancing. I feel like that. Ah. Okay, I am a happy man. Unfortunately, the journey to the land of the kings still comes tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Supported. I, I, Supported. I said, I said would there still be any need for all that? Since we now have this boy who can succeed his late father. Oh no, did you hear the God? Are you trying to challenge the God? Okay, three Joko. The gods insist the journey must be carried out. Bam, <laughs> bam, bam. Supported. He had him. Okay, three Joko. The gods of our land. <laughs> Mother, I don't seem to trust this Akidi person. It's like he's working with whosoever to present this dubin of a person as my father's son to take over the throne, all because of this saga that is going on in this palace. Mom, I have a feeling that he's brought in by the enemies to make the case worse than it is already. Well, there would have been a problem if Akili, the elders, and who know who had insisted that this boy would have been crowned a king. But since they are insisting that all of you will embark on the journey to the land of the king, <laughs> they are not going to make it there. What do you intend doing? Leave that to me. Just leave it. I will be right back. Can I come with you? No. It's not necessary. I'm scared, but the first time the next big thing is scared. The chances of me becoming the next king of this kingdom is gradually slipping off my hands. What am I going to do? The music has finally turned into a worst song. There are too many questions popping into my head at the moment. What if that Dubin guy is truly the chosen king? What if you go and the cost doesn't give you the work for as custom demands? What if... Oh, please, Joanna, just shut up if you don't have anything positive to say. Let me think. We've come too far to lose. We can never lose. Never. So you see that the game, the game of the guy, I don't know, I just I feel like, you know, strangling him. I, I feel like even, you know, cutting off his head and giving it to the carcass, I don't know, I just...
With this new turnout of events, um, what are you going to do? Because as it stands now, you have no chance anymore. Um, this Duben boy is truly the son to succeed his father. Hmm? Um, I suggest you give up this ambition. Ike, hmm? um, I must thank you for all your support mm. towards this my ambition. Miche, mm? um, as a stand now. Come and go. Mm? Yes, I said go. Desperate situation requires desperate measures. Wham! You who wears the shoe knows where it pinches. Yes. Miche, mm? you have to leave. Jack, I want you to come to my house right now. Yes, now. Thank you for your support. It's not for you. Yeah. Uh, it's not for me. Thank you. Welcome. It's okay. I'm only doing what I'm supposed to do. Your former husband, the king, is my only brother. Yeah? <laughs> Thank you, Nai. You're welcome. God bless you. You're welcome, my dear. Uh, you see, when I look at the whole situation, I don't consider it safe for you people to be in that palace. Because the two camps there they have become so desperate that they are ready to do anything to get that through. So leaving both of you in that uh, palace is not safe. That's why I said you people should stay here with me. You are right, Nai. Mm. I, I thought about it. Exactly. Uh, you see, I'll tell you one thing. Don't be angry about all those things they said to you in the palace. Hmm? <laughs> when I was very young with your father, our father, Igwe Kenga II, there is a song he used to sing for us. Eh? I never forget it. He said, Onye Michi, Onye Muwa. Oye mechi, oye muwa. Oye mechi, oye muwa. Echi di me. Did you hear that? <laughs> you can stay here until all this saga is over. You know? Oh, mm. Thank you very much. <laughs> My, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> you can sing very well. <laughs> thank you. Like I said on the phone, you must kidnap Dubem and Chokode. The two princes must not step their foot to the land of the kings. My son, Uzodima, will be the only one to go there and return. Am I understood? Yes, Your Majesty. Send your details and I will transfer your money right away as soon as I get to the house. Okay, Consider it done, Your Majesty. See you when the deal is done.
That which you have in your hands is called a jalo. It will open your eyes to the land of the kings and leads you to where the old wise one is. You must not go together because it is an individual race. You go through the south. You go through the north. And you go through the east. That which you shall eat will direct you no matter the path I have given to you. Most importantly, you only have two days, two days to return here. And whoever that returns with your offer will be crowned the next king. Now, eat. Now I shall lead you to the boundary where you can continue your journey. After me.
You incompetent fool. How can you come here to tell me a simple assignment of kidnapping? You couldn't do it. Just to kidnap those idiots. I hear say nonsense. Bye. What can I bear, bear? We tried our best. We laid ambush everywhere. But these people know the power. You are saying rubbish. You are saying nonsense. Eh? This, this, this is how, how you, you, you went instead of killing. Uh, 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 Prince Osadima. You went there and killed the innocent guard. Is that what I sent you to do? Always missing your target. Why? Bye. We are trying. It's not our fault. Shut up your mouth. I said shut up your mouth. Now leave. <laughs> leave my house and make sure you complete the tax I paid you for. None of them should be allowed to enter the land of the kings. Did I make myself clear? Did I make myself clear? Nobody will stand between me and the throne. <laughs> the throne is mine. <laughs> Hello, Your Majesty. Hello, Ewewelewe. How did it go? Everything nice and cool. We have him here with us. Him or them? <laughs> we are able to get Prince Chukudi. But we didn't see Dubim. No. That was not the instruction. The instruction was for you to kidnap Dubem and Chukut so that my son will be the only one to get to the land of the kings and come back with your father. What have you done? Now listen. Leave the one you've got with your boy. Go after Chukut Dubem or whatever he is. Make sure he doesn't get to the land of the kings. I know that he must be on his way to that place. My son must be the only one to return with her four in this palace. Got it? No problem, Your Majesty. I'll do as you say. Thank you. Get out. What? How far, Dili? Do you have our enemies at your custody now? Why? We are supposed to kidnap the both of them so that my brother can proceed to present the offer. It's okay, it's fine. Um, I'll tell you when to release them. By then, my brother must have presented uh, the offer to the people that he got from the land of the kings. All right then, I'll see you and your boys later. What happened? They were only able to get to Satumba. Can you imagine? <sighs> we're still in point. I mean, our biggest contender is Satumba. You and I know that that dream guy is an imposter. Even if he goes to the land of the cats, they will not acknowledge him. They might even strike him dead.
Yeah, it's your fault. Going to the world and conquer. Who you want. The prince, the next big thing. Go. Conquer. Rule the kingdom. You are the next big thing. As we planned, he doesn't even need to get anywhere close to the land of the kings. Since he already has the original offer with him, thank goodness he went with everything that's gonna make him comfortable. He's just going to look for a place and hide, come back tomorrow and be crowned the king. Hmm. Brilliant. You have a point. You worry yourself too much about this boy. Relax. I want you to understand one thing that Dobim, your son, is the chosen one. Eh? And the gods are wise. If the gods give a child a big yam, they also give him the spade to harvest it. The gods of our land will surely lead Dobim back home safely. And he will surely find what he's looking for. Very soon we'll start celebrating. Thank God, Prince Chukwudi is in the custody of my boys. I'm sure Ebwe must have gotten that stupid to them boy. Even if he doesn't, the boy won't return here before my son. My son traveled, prepared, ahead of all this. Mother, this is an offer. Mom. What? Now listen. You will embark on the journey to the land of the kings with this offer. Since our custom and tradition demands that you return with one as a sign that the God has accepted you. I'm making it easier for you. Very easy. You have to go with it. Return with it. And present it. Mother, what happens to others that may have the original one from the gods and the chief priest finds out that mine is fake? <laughs> Leave all that to me. I will handle it. After this journey, we will start talking like a king. I love it. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> 
Hi! My son is at the verge of be crowning a king. The youngest king of Isildo Kingdom. Who said I am not the master planner in this game? I am the master in this game. I told them. When a king marries, a grown queen, they will know the royalty runs in the blood. Makanalu Simweli Bupo, Adesiango, Adesiango! My son will be the youngest king of this kingdom. <laughs> But tomorrow, we know who our next king will be. I tell you, bro, I am happy that this king's saga is over. At least we'll have some fresh air. What if they get there and the gods reject the three of them? That I know is not possible. Come on. Obviously, the king has three sons, and one of them must be chosen. You two agree that Dubem is our late king's son? Is he not? He looks to me like an imposter. Naira. I'm going to go back to my duty post. This phone is not connecting. Remember, it's saying switched off. 
Maybe he's on his way back because he has to be here first before any other person to be declared the king of this kingdom with your four. Very soon the SMO and others will be here. I have a bad feeling about this whole thing. I just pray my brother is alright. I will, will, I will. I hope you seize Chukudi's forms. Yes, you will, yes, sir. I will soon. Good. I don't want the sisters to get access to him. Do not forget. I will call to tell you when to release him. This number is still switched off. He's supposed to have been here by now before Dubain, so he can present his stuff before the chief priest and be crowned the next king. Don't worry, I'm sure he's almost here. Okay? Chukudi will be here before Dubain. In fact, he will be crowned the next king before Dubain. Trust me. In fact, let me call the boys to tell them to hold him down till this whole saga is over. Hold on. Hello. How are you? Oh, how are you? Um, I want to find out. Is the boy phone with him? Okay, because I don't want his mother to get to him. That's fine. It's okay then. All right. You see, no cause for alarm. Everything is all right. Now let's go outside. I'm sure the others are waiting for us. Let's go. Listen. I don't feel good about this. I don't. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. This calls for celebration. Let's go. Greet you, as a mom. No. Don't listen to this imposter. Whatever he has gotten can never and will never be the original offer. My son is coming back with the original offer that the gods gave him. Wadi, son of his father. Thank you. 
present that offer which you were given. Now, go back. Stretch your hand. Woman, one more word from you again, and I will strike you with madness. Haven't you done enough? You and the princess, haven't you people done enough? What you people fail to know is that the gods revealed all you are doing. From you, it's here, boy. And to you, Lolo, and the two princesses. No, I, I didn't do anything. We're innocent. No. Hey! We eat hey, you, man. Man. They've exposed you. You see? You did all this. <laughs> How the mountain has fallen. Ha! Hey, little girl. Hey. You people can go to this estate. Mm. Hey, hey. 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 If woman, it's hey. You go out to do no, no, nose like, uh, like, like pig. I said it. It's okay. Huh? I've been suspecting you. Go, go to him, go to him. 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 Go to to him. Go to him. Go to him. to to him. Go to to him. Go to to him. Go to to after the burial of your father in few days time. In short, you penalize all that have erred because they will not go unpunished. They will not go unpunished! Greetings, elders of his widow. We greet you. you, my crown prince. Uh, no. Too. I forgive you all for your wrongdoings. Because the gods are wise. For what is written, is written. Lolo Ifoma, go and free my brother, Chokori. Princess Adora, my sister, free my brother, Uzodima. Bring them back. Let peace reign in this family. Together, we shall rule this kingdom. My brother will not be a happy man wherever he is. Yes. 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 Elders of our land, I've wronged all of you. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. Adora. 
Johanna. I'm so sorry. I treated all of you wrongly. I never killed your mother. You're supposed to be my daughters. I'm so sorry. I've wronged you. I've said so many hard words. Please. Forgive me. Thank <laughs> you.